Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. So first of all, I just want to say I'm extremely sorry I didn't vlog for almost two weeks. I, I hope you guys forgive me my absence, uh, but I was extremely busy with traveling and workshops and some other stuff. So I'm back and I'm gonna try to do more vlogs nowadays. So um, I hope you guys forgive me this this two weeks uh, break from, from vlogging. So before I jump into today's vlog, um, I just wanna say big thank you to everyone who came to my workshop in London. I had fantastic time over there. Um, you know, people who helped me to organize this workshop welcome me, you know, on such an amazing way that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna remember those few days to the rest of my life. Um, I had also a fantastic group during the workshop, so everyone who came, uh, thank you so much, um, and I hope we will be in touch, and I hope you guys learn something. And um, what can I say, um, you know, that's something which really um, makes me super happy that, you know, people are interested to, to learn and then, you know, they, they want to join those workshops because that's what makes me super happy. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. So today's vlog, um, I just want to dedicate it and talk a little bit about something which I would say concerns me a little bit. Um, you know, I've been doing workshops almost all year long. Um, I had a lot of students and there's, I would say one common thing which just kind of keeps coming up um, from most people. Um, and, um, you know, this is something about, you know, speeding up our work. And I want to talk about it a little bit because I deeply believe that you know um, we're living in the in the in the era where you know we want to do things much much quicker. You know we are bombarded by you know those companies which produce equipment and gear. You know there's upgrades simply every year. Um, there's tons of stuff when it comes to editing. You know everyone talk about it how to edit image in 10 minutes and five minutes. How to do quick photo shoots. How to turn out everything. Um, um, you know in no time um, and, and it seems like we are living in some kind of pressure all the time to work quicker more efficient and um, You know we need to get those stuff done very quickly and the, I deeply believe that there's some things which we can speed it up and there are things which you know we can really push through very very quick but at the same time I think there are s several things which you basically cannot really speed it up and I think you need to actually slow down some of those things and that's what I want to talk about it today and I just want to kind of show you six different things uh, when it comes to our workflow and what do we do where we should actually just pump some brakes slow down and focus a little bit more on them so we can produce way better work because I deeply believe um, and I'm sure some of you guys agree with me some of you probably don't agree with me but I think that whenever we start really um, speeding up some of those stuff what do we do we starting to do really sloppy job and that reflects on our work that reflects on you know our quality um, and there's kind of snowball effect which basically is like a domino effect I would have to say uh, which basically um, collapses everything what do we do and I want to talk about it because this is the most common thing what I what I hear from photographer and they ask me like oh how we can do this quicker how we can make this process faster how we can edit images you know in five minutes um, and this is something which you know whenever I'm trying to be honest with them they just don't want to kind of listen to those things and I think that's something which needs to be discussed and I want to share that stuff with you. So the number one thing where I want to actually talk about it and where we should slow down is just the preparation for the shoot. So basically what I what I'm want what I would like to say is that we need to slow down the process of um, getting ready to shoot. We need to get some inspirations, we need to get some stuff where we can draw those ideas and we have to focus on them. Um, back in the days I remember, I'm just gonna share this with you guys based on my experience too, I used to go to photo shoots and Basically, I was trying to, you know, get whatever I can get out of it. Um, I never thought this through before. Um, I was always thinking like, okay, I'll get there and then I'll just figure something out. 
And I think that was just the biggest mistake ever because what it's happening is we have to basically you know try to come up with something which will gonna work sometimes works sometimes it doesn't so i think whenever we have a chance and whenever we have a scheduled photo shoot and whenever we planning to do something you know it's good to have some basic plans and i'm not going to go into how to do that and stuff like that but what I want to say is that we need to slow down and basically try to figure out what exactly we are going to do. Because most of the time, as I said, you know, whenever we have no ideas, um, it doesn't kind of turn out into something positive. So it's better to be prepared. Uh, for example, let's say you have some client and you have some locations. It's good maybe go to the place figure it out what's what it's actually there how we can approach it what we can do what time of the day we could shoot there um, what kind of angles you know we can use to make these images better so just put some time into you know the preparation for the shoot to to basically get the best effects um, out of it um, and i highly recommend that because I don't think you know most of us do that including myself sometimes whenever we get overloaded with work I found we try to wing it we try to go through it and that's actually what's gonna happen what's gonna happen is it's gonna reflect the quality of our work so don't force it don't try to you know rush it take your time try to figure it out spend more time on this because that's gonna definitely makes your shots and your work way better so the second thing what i would like to talk about is is definitely time with our clients um this is something what i've been hearing all the time and um i also kind of went that path at some point but i actually started not doing that anymore giving kind of limit um on the time when we work with our clients and i'm not saying you know if whenever you agree with the client working for let's say a couple hours and you're going to turn it into let's say six hours like i'm not talking about but um, what i'm saying is don't try to kind of force the time into your workflow and your photo shoot because what happened is I found, especially with the headshot session, usually the first 10, 15 to even like half an hour, um, the client need to warm up. The client need to kind of get used to the camera, can can need to get used to the, the you know, you and, and, and the way you work and all this stuff. And usually they very stressed out. And I found usually the first 20 minutes, I'm not getting anything because the clients are very, very stressed. And um, you know, the shoot is what it is. You know we need a time to warm up and we need a time to kind of get used to each other to get something um, interesting from the shoot so um, especially when you, whenever you have a photo shoot and you put that pressure on the client and you put that pressure on yourself like well I need to speed it up because we have half an hour and I have the next shoot um, it's not gonna do any good it's gonna just reflect on your work so what I'm saying is um, you know don't kind of go that path where you just have let's say 45 minutes and and you just done right usually what I do is um, I'm just giving myself at least 45 minutes extra just in case um, I need that time to work with my client and um, the way also I like to work is um, I'm not trying to like I'm not saying I'm not paying attention to the time but what I'm trying to do is just to slow down at this process a little bit so you know the client also know I'm not gonna leave the person without getting the good shots and you know what sometimes I could do the shoot in half an hour the client was more open was much more I would say engage with the photo shoot and you can get the shots fairly quick but sometimes you know it took me a couple hours and I was getting nothing out of it because the client was stressed out was nervous you know the camera make him uncomfortable and all this stuff and you know if I would put that time limit and I would just try to push this through and try to get this done as quick as possible um, at the end of the day I wouldn't get um, anything positive out of this so what I'm trying to say is you know and I'm not trying to kind of stretch the time to you know endless limit um, but try to also slow down this whole thing this process to make sure that the client feels comfortable and they know you're not gonna leave them without the good shots so that's some kind of thing which I would suggest to do 
to um, look into this and you know if you feel that sometimes you feel pressured and you try to speed it up and the client also know those stuff you probably know those things they not gonna work well for you and your clients so just keep that in mind so another thing what I would like to talk about is where we shoot slow down our process and our you know the, the photography things what we are doing is to give ourselves a little bit of extra time to play with different ideas and different lighting setups different posing face expression and stuff like that especially for headshots um, I found this extremely important because that's what's gonna make your work better that's what's gonna make your more work more interesting that's where you are gonna also learn how to take advantage of some of those things and how you can improve them um, I, I've seen a lot of lot of times where you know photographers they pretty much again try to speed it up for this whole process they set up the light everything is good to go they shoot they shut down this whole thing and they go right they're not giving themselves a time to experiment a little bit they're not giving them time they're not giving themselves a time to you know try to do something different something which was you know we never have done this before um, I was trying to kind of implement those things into my workflow um, and again that takes a little bit extra time you have to give time to to yourself and your client to to make those changes but again at the end of the day you know you are going to benefit from it because you're gonna get different things you're gonna get different images you're gonna get new knowledge new experiences and that's definitely is gonna uh, make your work better yeah, as well it's gonna be more fun so don't again try to rush through this whole thing just do one setup and you go give yourself again a little bit of extra time to 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 do some additional stuff which you didn't plan before and that's gonna help you definitely with your work so another thing what I would like to talk about it um, is extremely important and this is one of those things which I highly recommend it to everyone and I know most of us don't have a time for this because we are so busy and there's so much stuff going on but this is one of the most crucial things which is going to help to improve our work and what i'm talking about is is um, analyzing our own work i found back in the days that i was just downloading the shots try to pick the best ones edit them give to the clients see you later that was my approach to dealing with um, you know the, the, the workflow and then every, everything what I was doing nowadays I'm actually just putting a little bit more time in analyzing what I've done so I'm going through all my images I look at them I analyze them what I've done right what I've done wrong what I can improve what I could do better so again it's time consuming um, it takes a lot of lot of extra effort and we have to dedicate it you know this time to do that but this is one of the most, I would say, beneficial things for us because we learn throughout this process what we've done and how we can do better for the next photo shoot. And a lot of us forget about it. Um, and a lot of us don't do that because, again, we don't have time, we were rushed. And that's something which is kind of, sim is kind of something which most of us you know and i was back in the days the same way i like why should i even do that like you know i've done my shoot it's all done and i never had a time to even go back to my work and try to figure out um, how i've done and analyze it and just try to get some you know kind of pros and cons of my shoot and you know kind of try to think about what we are doing because that's something what i also found is missing nowadays we just do things we never had a time to analyze it we don't have a time to think about it not even you know sometimes just sit down and look at the image and try to you know put some more thought into this try to you know kind of break this image down and and try to figure it out all those you know little components and how they can be done better so I highly recommend that because you will see you're gonna see some of the stuff in your images which you never seen before and when I started doing this I found that was you know like something very unique and something very interesting for me for my own experience that um, now I'm doing this on the regular basis so whenever I finish my shoot and you know I, I the images are kind of uh, done 
I'm, I'm going and I'm just spending a little bit more time on them to make sure I understand what understand what I've done and what you know what kind of next steps I can then take to take my next photo shoot to another level. So the last thing what I would like to talk about it is retouching. This is something which I could spend probably another hour talking about it, but I just want to focus on you know speeding up this process and you know the topic of this vlog. Um, I've noticed from a lot of photographers and a lot of students I've been teaching they have this kind of um, approach to how we can retouch stuff quicker, how we can do things faster, how I can retouch image in X amount of time. Um, especially when you're starting, it's, 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 it's no brainer. You have to put a lot of time to this. And then, you know, there's no shortcuts. Um, unfortunately, you can, you can basically learn how to do this properly and throughout doing this stuff properly you can start doing those little little things here, here and there to speed up the process but especially at the beginning there's no way i can tell you that you can retouch images in in in, in very very short time this is not gonna happen this is impossible and i'm gonna tell you from my experience that this is simply not gonna work um, i'm also a big um, believer that you know all those shortcuts such as you know presets and, and all this crazy stuff filters you know all this all these things which are supposed to help you to speed up the process the problem with them is that sometimes they work sometimes they they don't and um, I wouldn't kind of trust them too much um, I deeply believe in my kind of uh, manual work to get my shots to the level I want them to be so you have to be patient and um, you have to really put time into this to make sure that you're doing this entire retouching process, you're doing this right. And you know, as I said, there's few things in the retouching, you can do some shortcut, but most of the time you just can't. And if you want to produce good work and you want to produce quality um, images which are going to stand out, um, there is no way you can do this in five minutes and then, you know, just basically make a quick fix here and there and you're going to, your images, they're going to look um, super cool. This is not going to happen. So what I would suggest is dedicate the time you know make sure you understand the process um, I know sometimes you know it's frustrating because you know if you're sitting at the computer for a couple hours your eyes are bleeding you can't see um, it's, it's it's frustrating but that's the only way to learn those stuff and um, if you start going kind of direction that you're gonna start learning those things right and do them properly you will see you will see the effect but if you take the path where you're gonna try to do everything what you can and find a way to basically do this quick and do this, um, you know, doing some shortcuts, um, your work gonna be affected by this. And you will see um, this is not gonna work at the end of the day. So what I would suggest is again, um, you know, don't feel frustrated, you know, it's, it's painful as hell, I know that but you know don't try to kind of go this path that you know you can do this very very quick because there's there's no way um and you know that would be probably everything what i was trying to say um i hope that it was interesting um i would love to hear your opinion on on on, on this topic um i know there is there's way more stuff into this but my main message of this vlog is is pretty much um just just slow down everything what you do. Take the time to think about what you do. Take your time to um, analyze what you do. Take your time to simply, you know, kind of go through everything what you're doing and um, try to put more thoughts into all those little, little things. Um, I think it's extremely important. That's what's gonna make our work better. That's what's going to improve you, um, you know, and your photography skills. So don't try to rush everything what you do because um, I found this is only um, something which is going to have destructive way on your work, and it's it's not going to do any good for you. 
so you know sometimes we have to um, I have to say uh, as I said pump the brakes and um, slow down everything what do we do because that's what's gonna um, you know takes us to the next level um, don't get kind of affected by you know this world we live in in that everyone is telling you about how quick your camera can be how fast you can uh, produce your images how much you can turn this whole thing over and then you know make some money how quick you can do the photo shoot um, you know I don't really believe Leave those things and um, I also learned from my experience the more I was pushing the more I was trying to get those things done quicker that was really affecting my work and um, you know the work was getting worse the quality went down and pretty much everything was just falling apart so um, I just want to kind of talk about it a little bit because I think it's if you know about those things um, and you're kind of aware about some of those things, it's going to only benefit you. So I hope, again, that was something which brings you something new to the table and makes you think about what you're doing. And feel free to comment, send me a message. I would love to hear from you. And um, yeah, let's chat soon and I will be back in a couple days. So have a fantastic week, guys, and I will be chatting with you guys fairly soon. Bye-bye.